such a bright day that like you can barely even see anything like in the skyline I've arrived um, okay guys I'm not sure how I feel about the red lipstick all of a sudden but we're here now so I'll just wear it out later um, so it's somewhere in this building and it's like a complex there's a lot of cute cute restaurants obviously it's around at the moment but I'm gonna come back here because there's a lot of cute cute restaurants um, yeah there's like so much cute restaurants and like um, little cafes and stuff and there's an acai, acai place that I've been wanting to go to um, it's currently um, 2.51 so I'm like 10 minutes earlier but I thought I was actually going to be 10 minutes late but I managed to I managed to basically beat the system because you know what I mean who really needs Google Maps at this point and you know I feel like if you can beat Google Maps why not um, I saw like a clothing shop it's called Classy YM and for some reason that sounds really familiar I'm just gonna have a look on Instagram see I thought so it's like an Abaya brand and they have really, really, really nice abayas on the Mubarak. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do go do a little bit of maybe shopping um, after this little meet. Let, let me just message to say that I'm here. I'm low key shy, guys. I'm actually low key shy. I said I'm shy a lot, but I don't really know how shy I am. So that was really lovely. I'm gonna show you guys the pieces that I got. I got some items from Mango and also Cos. Um, and it's really lovely because in the UAE, like they have a lot of like modest clothes. I'm gonna go to Classy YM um, and I'm gonna look at some of the pieces that they have. Um, yeah, because I think they have like really lovely abayas. Um, from what I've seen anyway so yeah basically um, I'm not fasting today but I was just gonna wait till iftar to eat guys <laughs> I'm literally fasting without ajar because apparently it's illegal to like eat in public here there's like certain designated places that you can eat right so you know what I mean I'm not trying to even though I'm not fasting I'm not trying to yeah, I'm not trying to get nabbed <laughs> with, the, with the chai latte in my hand and also they don't do chai lattes here the menu is different what a dulce delish I don't know what this is also guys look at look at my name wallahi I was not buying that um, but yeah being in public during Ramadan in London feels a little bit illegal this here and one is actually illegal number two it, it just it does not feel 
it just does not feel right. I'm hoping to do a spot of Abaya shopping. Um, you know, Abaya's palm trees, Ramadan prep. Can't complain. This shop is so cute inside. Oh my god. So the amount of choice and variety in this one shop guys, I'm a bit overwhelmed because there's just so much options. Um, there's a lot of options. <laughs> and guys, my plan, I wanted to do like Abaya shopping just like on a separate day, but there's just such cute Abayas in here like, hello? I'm so indecisive. I'm too indecisive. Too, too indecisive. This one's a dress. It's navy blue. Um, I like it a lot, but the dresses don't come with hijabs. But I'm sure I can find a hijab this color. This one is what I'm. What I'm, this is the one I actually want the most but it's size extra small. I'm not an extra small girl and this one comes in extra small. And this is like a plain black one. I like this one the most because I think the material is absolutely gorgeous. But let me try them all on and then I'll be back. Okay, vlog fits. I'm not sure about this situation, but we're gonna sort that out another time. I think I think I'm gonna get this abaya, but I don't know where I'm gonna I don't know where I'm gonna wear it like during Ramadan, you know? This is a second abaya. Basically I don't know about this abaya because it's a black abaya, it's a really really nice black abaya. Is it more sensible to buy this that I'll wear more often than this? But this is really cute because I, I I don't I don't I, I want to save my shopping towards the last day because my luggage is already full. Okay, my luggage is already full. I don't know where I'm gonna start putting all of this stuff. Do you know what I mean? I might have to just wear all my clothes on top of each other at this rate at the airport. But I'm actually screaming. This is so cute. I Thank you. Oh. That was actually such, I had such a pleasant experience at um, Class UYM. So this is actually, I found out that this is their outlet. So aesthetic in there. Like if you're looking for some cute abayas, um, I really do suggest that you visit here. Very cute, right? And I think that's quite a bargain. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully come back here. Um, if I have time, if you're based in Dubai, definitely visit this store. Um, I saw them originally on Insta and uh, they're such a cute brand. So, you know what I mean? My hat tape. Now I'm gonna go to, I don't know where. No plans, just vibes. Um, I just do really need to collect my life. Am I allowed to sit here? I decided to sit down for a minute. I hope I'm not um, trespassing. Um, what's really good here is I noticed that even like though a few people are fasting um, they could still like sit in cafes and stuff and do their work because some cafes have seating areas and stuff even though I can I think I would I would rather not do you know what I mean like I don't grab a cheeky coffee sometimes my mood changes sometimes like do you know what I mean I'm like I'm not fasting so like why am I gonna but other times I'm like really shy I'm like I cannot eat in public. Ended up getting the abaya with the frills on it. Please, when am I gonna wear it? I don't know, like, was it a sensible decision? This is why I actually need somebody here with me to tell me no. I think the black one was probably more of a sensible life decision because I wear black every day. And you know how many abayas I have, black abayas I have in my suitcase? About two out of like 50. I haven't tried any super amazing restaurants yet. Um, purely because <laughs> I've been for this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to admit, like, the places that are on my to do list are like McDonald's. I 
pretty for much um i think i'm tired of mcd's now um but also the cheesecake factory which apparently i was told today is like the uae version of like nando's and also five guys can i put you guys here so this is this is not a civilized conversation is it So I've successfully booked my first taxi. Um, are we proud of me? I'm gonna sit down and wait for him to come. This is so exciting. I used the app for the first time. Um, and yeah, um, I can't lie guys. Um, I think I'm near Business Bay. Um, I like all of the cute little coffee shops and stuff here but I don't know because I haven't really I feel like I haven't really I have experienced a bit of Dubai but like I feel like I haven't been as adventurous as I usually am um, but yeah this week is going to be a really adventurous week it's just super peaceful and quiet here Um, I made it to the fountain. Um, I was actually thinking, I was, I was trying to go near the cheesecake factory because um, that's, and that's near the aquarium. But I can literally hear the water. I started walking without even realizing that I don't even know where I'm going. And I ended up here. This is all lovely in Dublin. Currently um, on the elevator. I feel like such a tourist. This is great. So guys, I made it to Cheesecake Factory. I'm really excited for this moment because um, you know never really experienced this one before. Um, I can see the aquarium, I can see the little fishes um, outside of the outside of the restaurant which is really cool almost like i'm talking to myself again um but <laughs> um i got chipotle pasta because um it was recommended to me on instagram see i really want to try the cheesecake thank you so much um okay yeah 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 strawberry mojito yes thank you so i decided to be a bit basic and I got a strawberry mojito. I feel like just generally for everything, like the sizes are so large. So I'm gonna get obese here. And I'm really trying to, you know, I'm really not trying to, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm gonna start doing home workouts guys. I'm gonna start doing home workout from tomorrow. I tried to sign myself up at a gym and I got lost. I told you, I think I told you guys the other day. I went to the, go to the gym and then um, it's, the a gym is basically within the, an apartment complex. So I went to the reception. The guy said it's on the third floor. I went to the third floor. The guy said it's on the no. The guy said it's on the second floor. I went to the second floor. The guy said it's on the third floor. I went to the third floor, and the guy told me it's on the first floor. And at that point, I just said, you know, this is really not this is really not meant for me, is it? Anyway, I'm really glad that you guys are actually here with me because otherwise, like, who would I really tell my thoughts to? You know? Um, you know, I just have so many thoughts. <laughs> and this gives me um, an outlet. I just wish that you guys could actually interact with me. Like, you know, sometimes I'm like making a decision and I'm like, I could do it like a second or third or fourth opinion. If you have any food recommendations, let me know. A strawberry mojito. Um, it's got a bit of a kick to it. I really like it a lot. Try this as suggested. 
if it's a dead, I swear to God, I'm not gonna trust. I'm, I wanna have trust issues. <laughs> Back of the fishes. <laughs> I said we could actually sit here, stand here, and just stir the fish for ages. Is that sad? Okay, I'm gonna walk through the sauk. Um, I remember last time I came here, there was a giant camel in the middle of this section. I'm not exactly sure what the sauk consists of, but we're gonna find out. Um, also, um, yeah, I don't think it's as fun as the actual gold sauk. I don't even actually think that place is very fun at all. Um, it was actually quite terrifying. So guys, we're learning. So the coffee pot um, appears on the one dirham coin because it represents the core of Emirati culture. That's so interesting. Okay, where else are we going to find out, guys? The, Ar the Arabian breed is over 5,000 years old and it's known as the oldest breed and has the first domesticated breed, of course. Dubai Mall was the most visited building on the planet in 2011. Oh, lovely stuff. My exact memory of the last time I was at Dubai Mall, um, I think it was like six, obviously it was like a few days ago, but before that it was like six years ago. Did it move or is it me? Did you guys see it move? Am I going nuts? Okay, anyway, I want to revisit a memory. It's actually, the sofa's really quiet. Not a Ramadan capsule. Wow, this is amazing. A Ramadan cream. That is so amazing. I think if I even just step foot in that dukan, my um, my standard will scream. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go look for a Spanish latte. Um, yeah. I ended up in Zara. I'm gonna have a quick look. I'm not that excited because I had the options here. Recently I heard that it's not that, it's not giving us this to give, but I'm gonna have a little look see. It's the colors for me. Kind of cute. without my headphones so now I'm really upset but it's okay because um, I'm gonna go home soon um, I w basically I walked past this cafe and I'm really curious about it because I've been to Leto a few times the one in London and I always thought it was like quite a way in the nice way possible well it's nice but so I thought I'd try this one see if this one is nicer um, also, I've never had the food here, so maybe that's that's where it's at. I always thought it was like a, I always thought it was like a cafe. That's what I read. I always thought it was like a cafe. Okay, we can get my dress. I'll let you guys know how that gets. So basically, I came here and they said that there. Was, I came here and they said that there's a queue basically. So I was like, say less. I'll come back. 
Is that just going to be a 30 minutes? Because I was doing like a few people in front of me. Uh, so I was like, you know what, let me just go somewhere else. I literally, the second I sat, I sat down, I chilled for a bit at the other place I ordered. By the time I ordered, um, I got a phone call saying <laughs> there's a space available. And at first, I wasn't actually going to go. But I actually need to also charge my phone in a little bit so my battery doesn't die and I don't get lost on the way home. I got asked a few questions about what Ramadan is like here. Um, I would say, I I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I just like hearing the Adhan throughout the day. And also, like, I'm the kind of person that, like, I feel like if I wake up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, my day's over. But I don't feel like that here because at night and day, the city's awake, more so at night. So I think that is why I've been liking it here. I think that's why I'm thriving. I've also spent a lot of time, even though I think it's really not good for my skin, in the actual sun, so I've been tanning a lot. Do I look like a chocolate babe? I'm so sorry guys, no, I actually so sorry about that, but, but do I? So this is how I'm trying, I'm trying really not to laugh here because I will actually look mad. <laughs> I'm actually saying it by myself. I will actually look mad if I start laughing. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm losing my marbles. I don't want to. You guys are making me laugh. Okay? So I'm going to be back. See the casual vlogging angles. That's me acting like I can't see you guys. So, guys, basically. Every time I order a Spanish latte, they ask me if I want it hot or iced, and I always want it iced. And I'm really glad that they didn't just go ahead and make it. Because I'm really worried that one of these days I'm going to order one, and I'm absolutely going to order a hot one. No, I have not had a Spanish latte like this. Like, this is the condensed milk. I think, do I put this in first? <laughs> the milk is hard. My hands are burning. <laughs> Mm. Very yummy. You know what? Just looking around, I'm actually thinking, why would I actually go back home? You know, like, why would I do that? You know, there really is is no need. <laughs> the more I say that, the less that I don't know if I'm even joking or not. I was three years old when I realised that Leto is actually based in London. Um, I'm currently sitting inside so I can charge my phone, as I mentioned. And it's so cute inside, but you can tastes better as takeaway when you heat it up in my opinion